Well, joining us now to discuss this controversial bill is Karine Berger, Socialist Member of Parliament for the Haute-Zad region. Thank you so much for joining us here on France 24 this morning. Uh, just to start off, where do you stand on this vote? Does the government have your support? The government has my support if the government is uh, ready to discuss some very uh, hard points uh, of the bill. We have two or three subjects on which we want to find a new agreement during the debate in the parliament, including the person who is in charge of the bill wants to have some uh, change of the bill. So, well, I do hope, I'm quite optimistic, I think we can uh, reach an agreement, I think we can pass the, the, the law in the end, but clearly the discussion during the next two or three weeks will be, uh, will be hard. Well, you, you mentioned these reforms that still need to, to take place. We've already seen a lot of amendments to this bill and critics say that it's been watered down beyond recognition. What's the point in voting through measures that the business community, for example, see as toothless? In fact, the business community is not uh, all against uh, the project right now. Mr. Gattaz is uh, a little, uh, I, would, I would say, hardline. Uh, what we want to put in the law, what, what, what there is in the law for the business community is very clear. Mm. It gives a very uh, um, uh, evolution on the way you can uh, have the uh, opportunity to know what will happen if you go to a dismissal of someone. If you dismiss someone in France right now, it's not sure what happened for the company. Now, due to this law, it will be very clear. You, you will know more or less what, you, uh, what are the rights of the company and what are the rights of the employees and what is the risk to go to the to court. So it's a huge evolution for companies to give some, let's say, uh, transparency on the way the labor market is uh, working. And it's also an incredibly um, uh, possibility to find new rights for the salaries for the uh, employer, uh, sorry, for the employees. That is, we want to protect more the employees and we want to give more uh, flexibility, of course, but also more transparency for the companies. But the business community is saying that, you know, the power is being taken away from them. It seems like François Hollande and the government have capitulated almost to the demands of the, the protesters that have been very vocal over the past two it's, weeks. It's not true. That is the only point that has been changed uh, between uh, the starting of the discussion and now is the um, ability for the judge not to choose the, the correct uh, level of, um, uh, of uh, dismissal um, um, uh, sorry, um, uh, uh, salaries. So... It's the only point that has changed until now, and it's something that the French constitution certainly would not have allowed anyway. So there is no uh, lack of flexibility in the law right now. What we want to do is to try to be flexible for the companies, but also very uh, protect, uh, pro uh, to, to give protection for the employees. And just uh, finally and quickly, if this bill doesn't pass, because it's still, uh, we're still That's not true. clear, if the bill doesn't pass, what would you say are the next steps for François Hollande? Can he continue to lead the party? In France, the system is a presidential one, and so until 2017, there is no issue on the way uh, the uh, majority will stand. But he wants to run again. Do you think that's And he possible? wants to run again. But frankly speaking, I do hope the bill will, go, will pass. I do hope the law will be voted, not only because it will give more flexibility to companies, more modernity uh, to uh, the French uh, labor market, but also because for employees in France, or for international companies, by the way, uh, it's going to be more rights. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that, yeah. but thank you so much thank for so much. Uh, speaking to us here on France 24 this morning. Karine Berger, uh, Socialist Member of Parliament, speaking to us this morning.